When you're asked to actually find the sum, that is a huge clue as to what type of series we're dealing with. That is a rare thing. Most of the time, we only determine whether a series converges or diverges. The fact that we can find the sum tells me it is either geometric telescoping or a Maclaurin series. Okay? If you're asked to find the sum. Okay? And notice we've moved on from sequences. We're, we have this sigma here. We're summing up from n to infinity, the terms two over three to the n. Well, if they're asking me to find the sum, it's gotta be one of these, one of these. It's geometric, hopefully you can see the common ratio. If not, allow me to rewrite it. So this is the sum, n equals one to infinity, two times one over three to the n. And one over three to the n, I can just rewrite that as one third to the n, yes? two times one third to the n. So this guy is definitely geometric. This is r, the common ratio. And as long as absolute value of r is less than one, it converges and we can find its sum. And r is one third. So the infinite sum, sometimes people write it s, sometimes they put s sub infinity, it doesn't matter. It's always the first term divided by one minus r. I don't like to always put a sub one because sometimes the first term starts at zero or somewhere else. So I just write a, but remember it's the first term, first term of the series. This one starts at one. So the first term, if n is one, would be two times one third or two thirds over one minus r common ratio, which is one third. So this is two thirds over two thirds, which is one. Voila, we are done.